Hello everybody, it's me, Thomas, and uh, I've got a little bit of an interesting video tonight. Um, for starters, I'd like to reach out to the guys from Syndigo and Markiplier and say that I, tr I truly am sorry for the loss that you have. Um, the whole reason I'm putting this video on and it is just by dumb chance that I found the video that you can watch after this. But when Markiplier earlier today on his channel when he was talking about it listening to him talk reminded me of a friend that me and my friend Casey that you've probably seen on here before. Um, he was like a brother. We all went to school together. Um, we, we grew up together. He, he was a brother to me and uh, it wasn't quite the same situation, but it was one of those things where he was very talented. Um, he'd had a really rough life. Um, he was he was in a custody battle with his daughter for a long time, and uh, he never really got her. He never got custody of her. Um, he was going to college for game design, and he was actually phenomenal. He he'd actually had some amazing offers that were coming his way, and uh, I remember we were uh, we were about twenty five. It was two thousand and nine, uh, and we were working with a traveling inventory company. It was me and my friend Casey, and. Uh, we got a text message from a friend saying that our friend had passed away and we said no then you know it's probably a prank or something and I ended up calling his phone and it went to his dad and his dad was so broken up but um, it was it was a really difficult time it's just that everything that Markiplier said it just hit so close to home um, so I, I wanted to reach out first and say, you know, I'm very sorry for your loss. I I know it's not the same situation. I'll never be able to, to fully feel how you feel. But with the situation I have, I feel that's that's close that I can come. Um, and it just made me think and reflect back. Um, I've been doing this channel for just a little while now. And I have a lot of fun with it. But it, it just makes you think how things are and uh, you know Markiplier Syndigo guys if you see this I want to say thank you and don't don't give up on what you're doing don't you inspired me to start my crappy little channel that I've had more fun with than I can possibly imagine 11 subscribers take that um, but don't don't give up. You guys are really inspiring. I laugh at everything you do. Um, I've 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 cried at some of the things that I've seen, and uh, my wife is the same way. I have a four-year-old daughter that absolutely loves Markiplier. Um, understand what he means when he says sometimes it gives you. It gives you something, some hope, just doing something like this. Um, because the outside world can be so monotonous and it can, it, you can get swept up in the tides and, and just, you're just doing a daily routine over and over and over again. So it's fun to get to do this. So that's what I'm saying, you know, Markiplier, Syndigo, do, don't stop what you're doing. I know there's a time that you need that time to mourn. I understand that all too well. I'm not saying, you know, rush back and make videos. Now I'm just saying the same message you gave all of us, all of your millions of subscribers, telling us to never give up hope and let go of our dreams. Don't give up hope. Don't let go of your dreams. You started from the bottom, and you worked your way through it, and you got to where you are. So... Um, with all of that mushy stuff being said,
the reason why I added this to this video because it felt so appropriate is this video that I'm about to post is actually one of the first videos when I had ever heard of Markiplier. I had watched him play and it is Dread Halls on the Oculus Rift and it was really hilarious because I watched this grown man cry and I thought this guy is absolutely hilarious so um, it was the first let's play video I ever made and I just recently found it on my laptop um, because my laptop is old and crappy and dying and I'm trying to get ready for a small gaming convention that's happening here locally in our town and dusted it off to see if it worked and found that video and I said I'm going to stitch this together and make it work you know and I thought it was a fitting time to put it up here to just show that uh, times get tough tragedies happen that that can be helped and you've you've just got to be strong and keep going so to everything you guys do thank you thank you so much if there was any way that that myself or your millions of fans who are probably a lot more dedicated but not necessarily as creepy anyway if there was any way that we could reach out and help you know we would we would do whatever we could whatever we can so just once again thank you guys don't give up hope and if somehow this makes it to you I hope it puts a smile on your face this video is when I was not as entertaining as I think I am now. Yeah. So anyway, just once again, thank you guys for everything you do. Just stay strong and you'll make it through this. So with that being said, enjoy the video. <laughs> All right. I think I finally got... Everything sorted out that I need to to be able to play games and record them. So, we're going to give that a shot. I'm going to play Dread Halls, which of course is a fan favorite. Um, I probably won't make it very far, but I'll try to be as amusing as I possibly can. So, bear with me while I get this going. Alright, wonderful. Let's subject myself to absolute terror and horror. Okay, I already hear something walking, so let's... Let's... Oh, son of a bitch, okay. There's already something... Here's a little side note. You don't have two Oculus Rift games running same time. I don't even understand how that second one was running. Okay. There we go. Starting over. Take two. Still quite new to this. It'll give me a better map where there's nothing walking outside of it. Okay, good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in a room, so that's neat. I'm just kind of here. doesn't even help at all. This is absolutely horrible. Why am I doing this to myself? Like, I know better. Creaking door. Voices. That's it's good. It's always good. Excuse whatever you are. I don't want none. 
You don't want none. I don't have any more oil. I'm taking way too long. It's really dark. This is just about to be a big old nope sandwich. Fuck you, skeleton. Oh, it's so dark. Why is it so dark? Uh-uh. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. I feel like I'm about to run into something else. that was the exit. Like, why can't that happen to me once? Why can't I just have the exit be, like, right beside me? Just so I can say, I beat this stupid game. Waiting on the the thing that bangs on the door, waiting on that to happen. Where am I going? This is a big open room. Oh. Fuck you, Mr. Skeleton Man. Screw you in the butt. Give me those oils. By the way, to whomever may be watching, don't ever play this game. You don't need the trauma. Give me those coins. I need those in this work-a-day world. It's, it's these skeletons, okay? What's really good is that I'm talking... Fuck off. I'm talking to imaginary people who just don't exist. And... Oh, shit. When did she fucking appear? I can't run. Go, 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 go. Fucking skeleton. Door just not close. Oh, that's a gargoyle. You know, on record, this is the longest that I've played this game. I'm not in the least ashamed to say that. This is a very terrifying game. gonna wander upon something else pretty soon. Oh, this is the big hallway where the, the thing... There's like a big dungeon monster that can wander around. But there's a part too where something bangs on the door and I'm waiting on that. Mr. Skellington. It's 
Sorry if my commentary is also not the best. I would love to be a professional YouTuber that someday people would love. Another damn skeleton. But, um... I'll keep working hard on that. I'd like to be like my hero. Mock play. N nowhere near as brave as he is on playing these horror games, though. Especially not for the Rift. They are absolutely terrible, and that is in my ear. Is this the door? Can be the one. Wait on something to slam it. Ah, damn it! See, I knew it. I told you guys it was it was coming. <sighs> See there's false hope too because when you find the exit, there's a bright light. This, this beacon of hope. Yeah! Ah! Why? Why? Oh! Oh! Why? 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 Oh, I died. I thought I could run around her. I obviously couldn't. Hey, further to river and overcame some of my fears. Overcame some of my fears. You didn't hear that. So, thank you for watching my first playthrough. And, um, yeah.